I'm Mabry. And I'm Libby. And we're your producers for today's broadcast. Hope you enjoy. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Connor with your news. Club photo day for yearbook will be next week on Tuesday. All groups and organizations will be photographed in the auxiliary gym. Schedules have been sent to teachers and are posted in the comments. Why is out with senior yearbook student Adam Montebello to find out more. Club photo day is next Tuesday, so I caught up with yearbook advertiser Adam Montebello to find out more. So Adam, what can students expect to do on Tuesday? Uh, so you'll be called down probably every 10 to 20 minutes by Kelly in the office, and you'll go down to the ox gym and uh, take photos with your group. All right, all right. Um, and should students dress in their normal attire, or should they dress up for Tuesday? Um, you don't really need to dress up, but I would definitely wear like a shirt uh, that represents your club if you if you have something like that. All right, yeah. And uh, what clubs will you take pictures with? Um, I'll be in there for Honor Society, Intramural Basketball, um, Yearbook, and then maybe some others. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, Adam. And now back to Connor at the news desk. Thanks, Wyatt. The state science fair is tomorrow, and Delta has two students who will be competing. Max Martinez and Katie Alexander will be making the trek down to India to show off their projects. Clay Video caught up with Dr. Brain and Katie Alexander to find out more. Katie Alexander and Max Martinez are competing at the state final science fair in Indy all day tomorrow. Both students have been working hard to improve and finalize their projects to ensure that they will place well at the fair. I caught up with Dr. Brain and Katie Alexander to find out more. So Katie, what is your project about and how are you feeling about going into the state final competition? So I am using yeast as a model organism to study genes that ultimately relate to diabetes. Um, and I'm feeling pretty good. I've been working all year on this research, so I'm excited. Nice. Uh, and Dr. Brand, uh, what have these students been doing to get to this point in their academic career? All right, so they've actually had two hours every day to go out and work at Ball State University in research labs. And they've been doing that since actually the start of the school year. So. They've been working hard. How well do you think both Max and Katie will do at the competition? I think they're going to do a great job. Um, they've already faced some tough competition here at the regional uh, with a lot of uh, big schools that compete pretty, pretty strongly in this area. And so I think they'll do really well at the state fair. Uh, and since Max isn't here, could you explain his project a little bit? Uh, just a little bit. He certainly could do it better than I. Uh, but the basic gist of his project is he looking, he's looking at different populations of macrophages and how they influence uh, nerve regeneration and um, how well the nerve actually heals itself over time. Okay. All righty. Well, thanks, guys, and good luck. Now back to Connor at the news desk. Thanks, Clay. Prom bids will be sold at lunch for two weeks starting Monday. Bids are $40 for a couple and $25 for a single. All students must complete a prom permission slip and turn into the office in order to be eligible to buy a bid. If you're bringing a guest to prom, a guest permission slip must also be completed and turned into the office. Cap and gowns will be here next Tuesday during lunch. Seniors, turn in your who's who forms for your book. Senior awards today to Mr. Cleland in room 120. Today is the final day. That's all for your... Wait. There's some late breaking news. Uh, last night, Delaware Community Schools held an emergency board meeting to discuss the retirement of Principal Mr. Connolly. So, what went into this decision? You know, it's it's been a long uh, a thought process for me. Uh, you know, with COVID, uh, we were shut down a couple of years ago, and, and people talked about they were just really distraught over being home and not being able to go out. And I looked around and I thought, I could be retired right now. This is great. Um, you know, I live on a little mini farm, so I have some pigs and chickens, and uh, I want to put some fence in and have some cows, and I have a big garden in the spring and summertime. So, you know, I just think it was time um, to, to give those a, a whirl and try to do some things that I, I really wanted to do. All right, and uh, who will be taking over as principal? Uh, last night, they announced that Miss Casa would be the principal starting with uh, August of, of next, actually July 1st, because that's when her, her contract will start. So she'll take over. I imagine uh, there'll be quite a few changes that that'll come about. Uh, you know, it's, we've worked together quite a long time, so uh, you know I know how she feels. So um, you guys that are coming back, uh, I feel sorry for you. But there'll be some changes coming, and uh, um, some will look forward to them. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, we'll miss you. No, it's thank been a great you. couple of years. Thank um, you. Now back to the news desk. On behalf of Eagles Own News, we just want to say thank you to Mr. Conley for all of his time here and all of his dedication. Thank, thank you, you Mr. Conley. Conley. <laughs> all right, Mason is having a really tough time with this, so he has something to say. 
know, it's, this is this is really tough for me because you know these last four years we've all had so much fun here. We've had a great four years, and you know, Mr. Connie's been a big part of that. And uh, you know, what's really just important for me to say, to get off my chest, you you've all been pranked. Um, it's April Fool's Day. April April Fools! <laughs> That's all for your news. Now over to Cam with your sports. Thanks, Connor. Last night's JV baseball game and the track and field meet, both against Wapahani, were canceled by the weather. As of now, they have not been rescheduled. The varsity baseball team will have a doubleheader tomorrow at Yorktown. Good luck, boys. JV baseball will host Yorktown on Monday. Varsity softball will host Alexandria on Monday. The NCAA Final Four men's tournament is Saturday with Villanova playing Kansas and Duke facing North Carolina. The women's final four is tonight with South Carolina facing Louisville and Connecticut playing Stanford. Now over to Hannah with the weather. Thanks, Cam. April was really fooling us this morning by giving us a nice surprise of some snow. Though it won't stick around for long, it's another cold and cloudy day with a high of 42 degrees. The winds are still high too, making it feel even colder. This weekend we will see the weather get to the 50s, but rain to come along with that on Saturday and some sun on Sunday. And next week, we will continue to see a lot of the April showers. That's all for your weather. Now over to Eli with your birthdays and lunch. It is his birthday today, Caden Thomas. So how old are you turning today? I'm turning 16 today. 16, and it is April Fool's Day. So has there ever been a joke played on you? Yes, actually, when I turned 10, uh, my mom put a rubber band on the sink. So when I was trying to get my dog some water, uh, it actually sprayed my face. So yeah. There you go. And then are you a Milky Way or Snickers guy? I'm actually a both kind of guy. Uh, so, April Fool's yeah. bro, you, you can't have any of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to Ethan Bailey, Layla Kemp, and Harmony Rostrin. Now we're to meet with your lunches. Today for your lunches, we have orange chicken and rice, pizza bites, California blend veggies, veggie tray, applesauce, peaches, and milk. That's all for your news, Eagles. Have a great day.